Hey art friends, we got a really cool art project today. We got a cup and a sharpie. What are we gonna do with it? Draw on the cup. Yeah, we're gonna draw on the cup. All right, dude, it's Monday, and what does Monday mean? I show your art. Yeah, uh, every Monday we show your art. You guys have been so busy and been sending us a lot of photos. Did you like seeing them? Yeah. Yeah, we love looking through all of your photos. You guys are amazing artists. And should we show them right now? Yeah. All right, let's do it right, right now. now. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed looking at all of the art that's been submitted. And we got a kind of special announcement, huh? Yeah. What is it? Uh. A P.O. Box, huh? Yeah. What's a P.O. Box? It's like people send us it to send stuff to it and then... We can get it. Yeah. Yeah, a P.O. Box is a little box that's at the post office and you guys can send us mail now. Should we tell them what our address is? Yeah. All right, what is it? P.O. Box 927. 927 Pleasant Grove, Utah 804 84 84062. Yes, and so if you guys want to actually send us, so you guys can keep emailing your art to myart at artforkidshub.com, but you can also send us, you can actually mail your art to us. You can mail us a drawing, a painting, or even a sculpture if you want. Pretty cool? Yeah. Okay, what is it again? Tell them again. P.O. Box 927, Pleasant Grove, Utah, 84062. Good job, man. That was awesome. High five. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, what are we going to do with the cups? Draw on them? Yeah, well, we're not actually going to draw on them. But we found this guy, and he did a video on Soul Pancake. And if you've ever seen that channel, it's kind of where... Where's that famous kid that's on there? Um... Kid, kid president. president. <laughs> yeah. Soul Pancake is a YouTube channel that has uh, Kid President on it. If you haven't seen those, they're really funny. You ought to check them out. But they also have this show called Art Attack. And we watched this video. It, it was actually, they published it about a year ago, a long time ago. And then we watched it just again the other day. We thought this would be an awesome idea to share with our art friends, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So there's this guy and his name's Chimin Boy. I think I said it wrong, but he is a Malaysian artist. He does art on cups. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. One day he was at a coffee shop and he was didn't have any paper and he said that he just started drawing on a cup and then all of a sudden it turned into this amazing art piece and he started doing it regularly. He started doing pictures, drawing pictures on lots of cups and he's got this Flickr page that has a gallery of all of his art that he that he's drawn on a styrofoam cup. And now he sells them. It's pretty neat. Yeah. So we'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video so you can watch him drawing on a styrofoam cup. He's an amazing artist, huh? Yeah. He's really talented. So we thought you guys would have fun watching that. And then we'll also leave a link to the gallery of his Flickr, his Flickr gallery. And you can see all of the art he's done. But we wanted to show you a couple a couple ones that we really like, huh? Yeah. So let's check those out. What do you think about this one, dude? Is that awesome? awesome? <laughs> what is it? It's um, a crane. Yeah. That is an amazing looking crane. And he's got this little guy on his neck. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's on fire a little bit on his back. Yeah, look at that. That is an amazing drawing that he did on a cup. Tons of designs. Yeah, all the designs and the in the wings, and I really like the water that's down at the bottom. It's so yeah. cool. And look at this one. This is a guy <laughs> eating noodles. <laughs> He's eating ramen, and it looks delicious. I like that one because it's kind of funny. Yeah. Pretty cool. And then, oh, a little puppy. Mm. How did he draw that, dude? He um, didn't use lines. 
He used, um... What is that? Dots? Dots. Yeah, this is called pointillism. And it's by using dots to make up a picture. And if you space the dots far apart, it looks light. And then if you space the dots really close together, it gets dark, like where his mouth and his nose, where his mouth and his nose are. And then you can do that and make it look shaded. But it's just by making little dots all over the place. We should, mm -hmm. we should do a video on that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. And the last one, what is that? Koi fish. A koi fish. We've drawn a koi fish, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this one is a crazy koi fish. It look, look at that water. It's the same as kind of on that bird. And on the bird, there's like the water was washing away a house. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. I think this one is too. They're in the back, on the yeah. back cup. It looks like there's something being washed away. But look at all the scales on that fish. It's so detailed. So we, we wanted to make our own cups, huh? Yeah. And we want you guys to do this too. We thought it would be a fun art project for you guys. If you guys have these styrofoam cups laying around the house, just get one and ask your parents if you can use a Sharpie and use it for your paper. Draw a little picture. Show them yours. What did you draw on yours? Um, I draw a gas and a spider. Enderman, oh, an Enderman. Creeper. Enderman holding the block. And then <laughs> um, the chicken. Yeah, you know what one of my favorite things that you did after you drew all of these creatures on there, all the mob guys, that you uh, you filled in some of the blank space with some background stuff. Mm -hmm. What's this? A gra grass, grass blocks. blocks. Yeah, it's so awesome. And then you even put some background here, like a little trail or something. Wait, Is that a railroad track? No, it was um, it I didn't really. It's it was a little small, and I didn't want to like. Are make these blocks tons of too? Blocks. Yeah, oh, I didn't want to cool. make tons. Wait, I did make. Tons you started of making them, but then yeah. you stopped. Cause... I couldn't do the design like really small. Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to get all that detail work in there, huh? Yeah. That's so neat, dude. And you even signed it. You put your name on it. Checkers. Good job, man. Well, this is one I did. I used our our koi fish one. <laughs> koi <laughs> and fish. I drew I drew a bunch of koi fish. Well, how many? One, two, three, three. koi fish. And I flipped them upside down. And then I used, kind of like you did with the blocks, I used the water to fill in the blank spot. The, yeah. All the, all the uh, empty space. And that part you overlapped. And then I, yeah, even overlapped some. And you did that too. You used some overlapping in here. I saw some. Where'd it go? Yeah, a spider goes behind the Enderman's face. Yeah. So awesome. I like how you did it this way. You did it up and down this way so that the Enderman can wrap around, halfway around the cup. Yeah. It's pretty neat, dude. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want you guys to, to uh, get a cup and draw on it and take a picture of it. You can even mail it to us if you want now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you can mail your cup if you want. Send, send a picture to us, and we'd love to see what you guys come up with on your cups. And we may even feature it in our next Monday video. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Well, what else did we do this weekend? Um... Do you remember? How could you forget? We did a lot of videos, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did a ton of videos, and so this week, hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna release or publish one or two videos actually a day, huh? Yeah. We may even do three. We'll see. I don't know if we're gonna get that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so look for those uh, new videos. Hopefully, we'll get two out or three out a day, and we'll see you later, art friends. Bye, art friends. See ya.